हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डीएफटी नो लेट अस कंसीडर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वेयर दे आर आस्किंग अस टू कंप्यूट द एन पॉइंट डीएफटी ऑफ द सिग्नल व्हिच इज गिवन बाय x of n is equal to delta of n in exam they can ask you to find n point dft or 4 point dft or 8 point dft likewise so in this problem they are asking us to find n point dft to solve this problem first let us write the formula for dft that can be given as x of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into kn in place of x of n let us substitute delta of n and we can write x of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 delta of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into kn we know the delta function that can be written as delta of n will be equal to 1 for n is equal to 0 and delta of n will be equal to 0 for n not equal to 0 using this analysis we can write delta of 0 into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k into 0 so what we have done in place of n we have substituted the value 0 now this term will be equal to 1 because e to the power of minus 0 it will be 1 we know delta of 0 is equal to 1 since n is equal to 0 so we'll get the dft of given signal as 1 let us take the second problem where the signal x of n is given as delta of n minus n not where n not is ranging between 0 and n for this signal we need to find the dft first let us write the formula x of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into kn in this formula let us substitute x of n as delta of n minus n not so we can write summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 delta of n minus n not into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into kn similar to first problem in delta of n when value of n became 0 this entire term become 1 using the same analysis we can write this term will become 1 when n minus n not is equal to 0 so at that case we can say n is equal to n not so we can write delta of n minus n not will be equal to 1 when n is equal to n not and it will be equal to 0 when n is not equal to n not so only when n is equal to n not this term will become 1 for other values this term will become 0 so we can write x of k is equal to this term we can write 1 when n is equal to n not so it is 1 into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k into n not so the dft of the given signal x of k is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n not let us take the third problem where the signal is given as x of n is equal to a to the power of n here the value of n is ranging between 0 to n minus 1 let us write the formula x of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into kn let us substitute the value of x of n as a to the power of n 
so in this formula we can write summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 a to the power of n e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k n so this we can write it as summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 if we take power of n as common in these two terms we can write a into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k whole to the power of n we have a formula which says summation of n1 to n2 a to the power of n can be written as a to the power of n1 minus a to the power of n2 plus 1 divided by 1 minus a for a value not equal to 1. Remember this formula. This is very helpful for solving many problems. Using this formula, we can write the above expression as x of k is equal to a to the power of n1. n1 is 0. So, a to the power of 0, it will be 1 minus a to the power of n2 plus 1. n2 is n minus 1. So, it is n minus 1 plus 1. So, plus 1 and minus 1 will cancel out. We will be left out with n. So, we can write 1 minus a e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k whole to the power of n divided by 1 minus a is a into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k. Here we can cancel out n. So, we will be left out with a into e to the power of minus j 2 pi k. e to the power of minus j 2 pi k, we can write it as, we can write uh, this term as cos 2 pi k minus j sin 2 pi k. If we put different values for k as k is equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on, the term sin 2 pi will become 0 and this term will become 1. So, e to the power of minus j 2 pi k will be equal to 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1. So, in place of this term, we can replace it by 1 and we can write 1 minus a to the power of n because this power will be with a also. That is why we can write it as a to the power of n divided by 1 minus a into e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n into k. So, this is the DFT for the given signal a to the power of n. In the next lecture, we will solve some more problems on DFT. Hope you understood this topic. Thank you.